Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of B-School. Today, we'll be talking about four basic camera ideas that you should know when becoming a filmmaker. Now keep in mind that the most important part about making movies or making films or being a filmmaker in general is just to learn about it and have fun and learn through experience. That being said, I'm going to give you four tips on everything a beginner should know when becoming a filmmaker. Okay, so the first thing is that you have to have good resolution. The better resolution you have within your camera or your collection, the better you can get better gigs, the better you can make more attractive films through your work. Because the better it looks, the better it can sell. And 480p. If you were to make a video on YouTube and make it in 480p in 2005, that probably would have been a lot more marketable than if you were to make a 480p video now. 480p is 480 pixels. 480 pixels is how much pixels is within the frame. Now, that's not a lot of pixels. When you're starting out, it's good. This, for example, is 180 pixels. So that's a good, that's pretty much all you need to start out with, 180p. Now, if you're getting really good at filmmaking and making a lot more progress, you can go to 4K, which is 4,000 pixels within the screen. Some people even go to 8K, 16K, but if you're just starting out, just worry about trying to get the 180p and make it a nice looking camera. Even pretty much most to all phones today that you film with, all smartphones, those usually film in 480p. Yet the second point I'm gonna bring up is understanding frames per second, FPS. If you have a 15 frame per second footage, it may look a little more raggedy than something with 30 frames per second. Let's say you're filming a movie, right? And you want a slow motion shot. It's a good idea to raise the frames per second to 60 frames per second if you can, because then it can capture more of the slow motion. If you're filming at a normal rate, it's good to just make sure you're around the 30 frames per second rate. That's usually what looks the best when you're filming at a normal speed. 15 frames per second can look choppy, so it's good to try to get more than 15 frames per second. The next thing I'm going to bring up is the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is more of a tool you can use rather than a rule. It's not as mandatory, but it's a great way you can figure out where the subject of your film is. The idea is that there are brackets within the ratio of your film. When you have a subject, you can figure out where to put the subject and focus on that. Within nine boxes, you draw in the ratio of your film. If you look at any good cinematography, you'll notice that, they, that the people spend a lot of time figuring out where the subjects are going to lay inside the film. The rule of thirds can get really complicated in the cinematography sense. I can talk about that in another video, but it's a way to organize your film. The fourth point I'm going to bring up is the 180 rule. Now if you're filming, let's say, a train scene, and you're filming the train on the right hand side of the train. If you switch to the other side of the train, it's going to get confusing to the audience. This is an example of the 180 rule. Let's say I'm filming a scene in a prison cell and I'm filming the person from outside the bars and then it switches to inside. That's breaking the 180 rule. So it's good to have an imaginary line when you're directing and not go across that line. There is a way to get around this. So if you're filming on the one half of the line and you want to reverse on the opposite side, you can either take the camera and slowly rotate it around, or you can take one shot, take another shot and halfway on the 180 line and then go around. Those are my four tips on basics for camera. So if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe and also I'm making more fee school in the future. 
Thanks and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.